Hey everybody, it's Jamie at shelfmass.com. Welcome to another Mass Minute. Um, so, what are we talking about today? Fall again. Um, hair loss, hair regrowth, etc. So, uh, I'm a big believer that uh, it, prevention is a lot easier than, than cure, so to speak, when it comes to hair loss. So, if you are losing hair or your hair is thinning due to male pattern bolus or perhaps some other reason, um, if it is of concern to you, then definitely taking actions before it gets worse, so to speak, um, is the way to go, in my opinion. So, having said that, if you don't care, it doesn't matter. But for those who do care, um, this line of products, Folgain, is designed to help you treat that. So, the idea behind the products is that it's promoting health of the scalp and the hair. Um, a healthy scalp is required in order for your hair to actually be healthy. So, uh, a few different products here. They have a couple of different shampoos, uh, one conditioner, and then two topical treatments. So, uh, the main difference between uh, the, the different uh, treatments and the, the two shampoos is that uh, the one contains uh, minoxidil and the other doesn't. So minoxidil is, uh, is an ingredient that many of you may have heard of. Uh, it is clinically proven to regrow hair and prevent thinning of the hair. So it's sort of a tried and tested uh, ingredient. And then the other key ingredient, which is, uh, which is in all of the products, is something called trioxidil, which is a, it's a triple, it's, it's three different ingredients in a, in a complex in it that is intended to promote um, health of the scalp, health of the hair, um, just give your hair the best possible environment for it to be healthy and for it to grow. So um, overall they just help to promote um, the thickness and the fullness of the hair so your hair looks healthier, younger, and also it has uh, anti-thinning properties, regrowth properties to it. So um, the only reason that you would perhaps choose the, the, the non-minoxidil version over the, the, the one that does contain the minoxidil is if, uh, if you're looking to avoid that ingredient specifically. Um, well, I just want to say ingredient, but I guess it is an ingredient. Um, some people have sensitivity with respect to things like redness of the scalp or, or whatnot, um, or there could be another reason, but anyway. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I'm actually a big fan of these products. We brought this brand on as a replacement to another one that, uh, that disappeared for some reason. And uh, in my opinion, I think they're actually better. Um, so yeah, if, you, if you're concerned about hair loss, uh, if you're experiencing hair loss already, um, check them out, shopmass.com. Uh, I think they're good products. And of course, if you're in Vancouver, come see my shop. Thanks for listening.